Greetings friends, Steven here and welcome to episode 13 now of Gamer Home, my very own YouTube uh, video game pickups series. And uh, welcome to 2013, this is the first uh, Gamer Hall I've done for 2013, so that's very cool. Um, today's backdrop item is um, a little Perler Bead Sprite I made not too long ago. This is a uh, Team Canada player from the NES game Ice Hockey. I love making these things, they're awesome. Good thing about these uh, older NES games is that the sprites are pretty small, so it doesn't take too long to put these together. So those are pretty fun. So I'll just leave it on the back here. Um, nothing too exciting to show off today. There's one um, neat item I'll save till the end that I did want to show off. Um, as you probably know if you've seen these episodes before, I don't buy anything too pricey. Um, I've got a pretty respectable game collection already, so uh, the stuff I tend to buy these days are mostly, you know, interesting, kind of unknown titles, things I haven't actually played, and, uh, yeah, just like going from there, seeing, uh, seeing what the games are like. Um, if you've been watching my uh, Game Start a series where I, uh, me and uh, co-host Brendan, we play some, um, just any game villains, just try them out. Um, some of these will obviously end up in that series as well. And uh, stay tuned for that because I am actually going to get a new PBR pretty soon. So uh, hopefully the production values will be a bit better than they've been before. Sorry about the askew camera. It's, um, yeah, it's a pretty low res situation I've got going here at the moment, but whatever. Alright, so uh, let's check out some games. Um, we've got mostly NES games, i got one PS3 game, yada yada yada. So we will start with Darkman. Um, this is made by Ocean, and I got this for five bucks. It's a game I played um, when it was, uh, well, I guess more or less new. Uh, side scroll, as I recall, um, you know, follows the movie pretty well. This is, of course, based on the Darkman movie, and looks to be in good shape. Spent uh, five bucks on that, and yeah, what can you say? Darkman. Next up, Alpha Mission by SNK. Five bucks again. As you can see, I haven't even opened these yet. <laughs> uh, I'll get around to it. You know how it is. Uh, when you're working full-time and you've got the things... You know, the movies to watch, the games to play, the shows to watch, etc. Ah, it's just a question of finding the time for it all, really. Yeah, picture's pretty cool. Ship fighting a much bigger ship. And yeah, I think this is one of the earlier games on the system, so I'm not expecting too much from the graphics, but this is, um, pretty sure it's vertical shmup. And I'm looking forward to trying that out. Next up, uh, we got the Low G Man, the Low Gravity Man. Uh, it's got one of those damn uh, video store stickers on it where it's going to be a real pain in the ass to get that off. I'm pretty sure this one would uh, rip the uh, the actual um, game sticker, so I'll probably just leave that where it is. But, you know, for the time being, I don't even know if this game's any good. I've heard mixed reviews about it. It's one of those games where it's like I remember the name, and I've never really got around to trying it. So I'll try it. If it's, if it's good, I'll keep it. If not, I can certainly uh, pass it along to someone else. So I got that one for five bucks. And along with that, I also got uh, Kickmaster by Title. Once again, five dollars. Um, one of the later games that came out on the NES. Um, I've watched a couple of videos for it here on YouTube, and it looks like an interesting title, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying that out. Uh, for some reason, it's got all this white stuff on. I don't know if that's really going to show up on the camera. As you can see, I still haven't opened this one either, so I'll get around to that. Uh, hopefully this stuff can clean off, but uh, otherwise I'm looking forward to trying this out. And next up, uh, Tecmo Star Force. Very much like Alpha Mission, we're looking at um, one of the earlier releases of uh, Vertical Shmup on the NES. Five bucks again. You know, just grabbed a bunch of these. Pretty much, I walked into this uh, th thrift store, pawn store, or whatever, and they had a bunch of these it's just sitting on a shelf like this sort of thing. And I was like, oh, let's take a look. And I just grabbed a bunch of titles, as we can see here. And just today, I grabbed a few things. Um, we got Mylon Secret Castle by Hudson Soft. Um, I'm not going to lie, I pretty much bought this just because I've been watching a lot of Game Center CX and I was watching the one where uh, the Kacho plays this game and it's like, oh, it's that game he was playing. Eh, might be, might be fun trying it out. Five bucks, you know, all these are five bucks, so hardly breaking the bank. And along with that, <laughs> I also got Kickmaster again, seven dollars. 
Um, normally I wouldn't buy two of the same game, especially when I know that it's, I just recently bought it, but I have a feeling this is going to go up in value because, uh, you know, games like, I don't know, Mega Man 6 or Little Samson, you know, those are pretty pricey games to find and eventually they'll all be collected and then people just, you know, they'll spend a hundred bucks for it or something crazy like that. So, uh, the collectors will be moving on to a new game, uh, cheaper game to collect and I get the feeling Kickmaster is going to be one of them. Now this one, for whatever reason, is missing the back sticker. I can uh, easily replace this back cover though for another one. I'll just dig out some scrub sports game or something and just put it on there. So, you know, I'll keep one. I'll either save the other one just for, uh, well, an investment, as much of an investment as you can get from NES games, but you know, we'll see. And um, just today I picked up Silent Hill Homecoming for the PS3. Got that for $14.99. I don't know why, but I've had a really hard time finding this game. It's almost like Konami is embarrassed by it, and they just wanted to get rid of it altogether. I've always wanted to play it. I um, I have it on Steam, but this is really the sort of game you'd want to play on a home console. So I'm looking forward to that. Evil welcomes you back home. That was nice of it. So, got that. 15 bucks had the um, EB Games slash GameStop, you know, that used game card, so it was cheaper than that. It was pretty much, you know, 15 10 or something like that. Along with that, I um, picked up a couple of these League of Legends codes. Uh, this is for the character Morgana Fallen Angel. If anyone wants one of these codes, let me know in the comments. Um, you know, I'd gladly trade these for Team Fortress 2 items or something. I don't know if these are a super common, uh, super common character code or not. I don't know. I don't play League of Legends, obviously. But, uh, yeah, if you want to trade uh, my code for your code, you know, uh, let me know. League of Legends. And uh, the last thing I got today... This is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I'm definitely trying to collect more NES games, and uh, this is something I've been really wanting to get for a while now. It's the Nintendo NES Advantage. Look at this thing. Look, at, look how badass this is. Big buttons. It's got the turbo buttons. It's got whatever these do. I don't know. Maybe that controls how fast the turbo is. It's got a uh, one-player, two-player switch because it, actually it seems to hook up into both ports. So that's pretty weird. But that's cool. Select start. Um, it's got that slow mo button, and uh, it's got a pretty good weight to it. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. Like I said, I just got this today, so I haven't tried it out yet on my NES or my uh, retro entertainment system. And I just want to say one thing extra for anyone who's seen my videos and you've heard me talk about the retro entertainment system. I was saying before that a Super C doesn't work on it, but that I was wrong about that. It does work. In fact, I've had better luck getting Super C, which was the dis the um, the cartridge itself that I had was a bit busted, so I fixed it. That's why it wasn't working. But Super C does indeed work on the retro entertainment system. So I just wanted to get that out there. All right, um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you know what else? Uh, PSN on the PS3, of course, uh, they've got a pretty good sale going on. I bought the Unfinished Swan for $3.75. Pretty cool game, pretty good price. Before that, I bought Earthworm Jim HD. Here, check this out. Look, Earthworm Jim, yeah, SNES. I got two of them. But I bought the HD version on, once again, the PS3's PlayStation Network and I got it for a dollar. A dollar! Sweet! I was tweeting people about it. Buy this game. It's on for a dollar. I don't know if anyone bought it, but um, like I played it, I beat it, I liked it, I enjoyed it, I recommend it. Earthworm Jim HD. Uh, if it's a dollar again, definitely buy it. I hope people bought it because um, I mean it's got trophy support. It's got multiplayer. Earthworm Jim online multiplayer. How cool is that? Man, I hope people bought it. I hope you guys bought it. Um, yeah, that's pretty fun. And I've got uh, my pre-order here for the upcoming Fire Emblem game for the 3DS, which is uh, something like I just downloaded the demo not too long ago, and I really liked uh, what I was seeing there. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing Fire Emblem 3DS. Look, Street Pass, you. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so, thanks again for watching. Uh, feel free to check out the other videos on my channel here. I've got some live events um, that I'll be doing new videos for real soon. 
course, the uh, the return of Game Start, which, uh, like I said, hopefully the budget will be improving a bit on that once I get that PVR set up. And yeah, um, if there's any uh, any of my subscribers are big Skylander fans, if that's why you uh, subscribed, let me know. Because if you want me to do more Skylander videos, I certainly could. If I don't hear from you, I will just do whatever uh, pleases me. So, thanks again for watching. Um, yeah, the NHL is back. How about that? I guess they got a few games they can play. <laughs> Man, rich guys. They're all rich. They didn't need to strike. It's crazy. Whatever. Alright, uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Have a good night.